so for today's video we have two options number one is we can go over some of the best siege defenses for the siege battle tournament on a couple of different servers and number two we can review the game that nintendo just announced recently that i am very excited about oh you want to see siege defenses okay we'll do the other one on the other channel let's take a look at some siege defenses we are on global server now and this is currently actually we never hit these when they're hit them we never see them when they're currently actually active so let's take a look at some of the defenses are we gonna see a lot of cichlids this kind of seems weird to me to see so many cichlids we did see some previously but uh yeah this is this is more what i've been actually seeing in battles leading up to the siege tournament is me yang and monty and for whatever reason on defense he is just he always hits the low numbers that that skill three always hits the low numbers violent procs 900 times but not violent procs 900 times between the violent procs and the uh same number on the dice let's uh let's continue here the same number on the dice over and over and over again so we see some anons we see some trianas i'm actually it's interesting to see the layout on here so many bases like this intentionally obviously these we've been seeing these for quite a while because we're going to see a lot of claras today we're going to see a lot of claras we're going to see a lot of theomars we're going to see a lot of savannas as well but clara is just you can kind of rely on her to do her skill three so this is all tactical though just in case you guys are curious okay so we see some i haven't fought against some uh some like this have i, I don't know why i'm asking you Claris, 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 Theo Mars. Although, Leo is uh, strong into that. This, we're going to see plenty of these. These have been everywhere. Because this, this was a Hall of Heroes. You can get this. It's reliable. It's got the speed lead too. So you're not going to be able to outspeed this. So, um, outspeed, attack gauge boost, strip some stuff, do some defense breaks. Also, I mean, this skill three, obviously, and then do some more defense breaks and some more defense breaks and 9,000 turns and whatever. And then come in and uh, do this massacre after he's already between him and the uh, kinky. We see a lot of those, but if you've been playing... Really? I have not fought any teams that look like this at all this, uh, this season, I don't think. Okay. I'm not that... Uh, that <laughs> I'm not that concerned with these teams. Uh, I say that. But you know when you actually hit these teams, uh, it's just constant and never-ending procs. Because they get them, they reset their violent counters, that's why. That's why some of these things have been OP and continue to be OP. But we're going to see Clara, Theomars, and X Beast Riders uh, that are different elements, of course. Because if you put too many of the same element, unless it's light or dark... For those of you that are casual, that are new, whatever, if you put too many, like, just the same element, it's super easy to take that uh, that defense down. You don't even need to have uh, triple units on it. Okay, so we're seeing, instead of the Savannah, AoE Defense Breaker uh, of the Ritesh. It's kind of similar to the other ones that we saw, uh, aside from the fact that the Zarath provides a lot more than Theomars. But we're gonna see we're gonna see things that look like this element neutral damage dealer element neutral damage dealer element strips defense breaks element neutral damage dealer so that's uh it's pretty textbook siege defense these ones always wind up being more annoying than they really have any reason to be because this is not a dangerous defense but for whatever reason rng just oh my goodness makes it, it it's it's not that it can't be beaten it's, it it's a defense. If you want to take enough time, you can beat it very effectively. However, for whatever reason, it needs to take forever because the RNG is like, no, you can't strip anything and we're going to get 700, uh, 700 procs. So we're going to whatever is, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. But yeah, b between the speed lead and the heals over here, the passive heals, um, we're going to see a lot of these. Um, are we going to see less of them? Have we been seeing less of them during the season? I'm not really paying that much attention. I have a decent time against these, so maybe I just haven't been noticing. This seems like this seems weird. These seem like uh, defenses that I would 
try to use it. Like, okay, guys, this is gonna work, and then it doesn't doesn't wind up working because it's like it's a ridiculous, uh, ridiculous person defense. Okay. Again, very similar. Strips, defense breaks, and uh, AOE defense breaks, and then element neutral damage dealer. So where I was skipping some, yeah, seeing a lot more Miangs. They changed Miang's AI. I feel like she was never doing... The The big uh, problem with her is that her AI was just terrible. I can't imagine... I, I don't think it's changed. I don't know. Maybe maybe there was something that uh, her AI is different now. We Did we see these already? Or are they... No, we didn't see them. They just happen to be the same defenses in there. But we're going to see like a million more of these. Yep. We're going to see Clara and Clara and Clara and Clara. Clara, AoE defense break, element neutral damage dealer. It's going to be very, very redundant. But that is the point of high level siege is you're going to have to fight the same teams over and over and over again in infinite amount of times. Well, maybe not. Ten times. Or more if you decide you want to solo some or try to solo some. But Clara, AoE defense breaker, and... Uh, the, and, and, and any element uh, neutral damage dealer. So. Wait, what was this? That I w would... Okay, I wasn't expecting that one. And we see... I want to fight some of these, actually. I feel like I would just use Molly and uh, Wind Sniper here. I feel like we use Molly and with Sniper. Uh, what are we on? Hurt? We'll take a look at uh, some of the Europe server and some of the possibly Asia server or China server. Whatever one seems interesting. Okay, we've seen these before. We're not going to see a ton of them. Fire Art Master. Okay. And we see the twins. That has not changed in forever. Cichlid's, uh... Cichlid was buffed, but it, was, it wasn't even the last balance patch, was it? It was a uh, balance patch... We already looked at this defense, didn't we? Uh, I'm trying to think of when we... When the Cichlid buff was. So something like this... I mean, this is, this is why... Leo is so popular for for a dupe for siege players is because something like this Leo nerfs both of these units so yeah that's why people in high level siege build so many Leos we see Clara and then we see well this is a we ignored defense so between that and we got some defense breaks on this as well we got some defense breaks on this as well and we got some defense breaks on this as well but ignore defense and AoE. But this is all random. Like, you don't know if it's going to actually work. Potentially could go crazy. She can keep revenging. She can keep procking with the skill. She can violent proc. If she's on violent runes, proc with the skill one into the skill three. Uh, skill two is <laughs> skill two into the skill three. So, what are we on? 10? Some of these don't seem so crazy, but, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that, like, some of these are not their premium defenses. They're... Okay. I don't think I fought any of these ever. It's at least interesting to see things change. I mean, things don't really change that much from season to season, but they change slightly. Usually based on balance patches and what units people can spam. I don't think I've fought these ever. I really don't think I fought these ever. Okay. Let's see what we have here. So many cichlids. So cichlid does uh, increase cooldowns, strip increase cooldown defense breaks over here. Uh, three times attack that always have an attributed advantage. Oh, I forgot about that part. First attack removes beneficial effects. Second attack decreases defense. And the third attack increases skill cooldown by two turns. So, it's a very nasty thing to potentially... Like, if you're going to try to Galleon this, she's going to target Galleon. And she's going to... Uh, she's going to strip defense break, uh, increase cooldowns. You're not going to be able to get the cleave off. So, this is just going to potentially take one thing... Uh, 
increase cooldowns on one thing and disrupt any combo you're going to try to run. But if you're not running specifically a uh, special sp speed-tuned combo, then it's not going to be as... as impactful. Like, it's not, not going to throw you completely off. It is still got a defense break, so you still could get uh, sniped out, but... Let's see what we have next. I'm trying to pay attention to what... Okay. Interesting. We see the ignore defense here. Well, the ignore defense here. And then this uh, this passive. Kind of Theomars-ish. Not quite the same, but similar. You see the speed lead. You see the AoE strip. And then you see the speed-based... Uh, Damage dealer. I never really feel too threatened by this, but, you know. Violent procs and RNG change the course of any match. So we're going to see a lot more of these Manon Triana. Even though Manon was nerfed. Let's see more of these. More Claras. I might have skipped a... Mm, did I? No. Ooh! I don't think I've seen these before. I mean, I we've done videos on this, but I don't think we've seen these on defense. So. We saw... We saw that. I might be skipping some. I, I think I would rather skip some than... See the same base 4,000 times. Because we have a tendency to do that sometimes here. I'm like, which base were we on? I was talking about one thing, and then... Look at uh, some kind of other other base. So we see a lot of damage mitigation. For, for these defenses, there's damage mitigation, death prevention, and then revives. So, damage mitigation, death prevention, revive stuff. I'm uh, uh, sorry, it, it, it made it seem like I was saying that unit does death prev- Well, kinda. But, yeah. Those those type of uh, skills. For the tanky, slower defenses, they're not gonna try to outspeed you. You just wanna make sure that you don't die to things. So, this is not going to die right away. This is not going to die to a crit. So. You either outspeed. Or you take turn one and you prevent uh, your team from dying. So, both things here to keep units alive. In theory, the fire BK can be pretty decent against some of those. But, like, what is he going to do against Manana? Manana's going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to tap that just once. And he's just going to fall over and die. We're going to see a lot. This is a very free-to-play friendly because uh, it's three-star easy skill-ups because you can just farm scenario for uh, skill-ups. And it's even easier now because uh, those because three-stars drop more often. Comp to us even mentioned this in the last... Well, of course they did. Uh, in the in the reloaded patch, they're like, oh yeah, it's going to be easier for people to actually get uh, skill-ups. It's been a noticeable difference trying to build all of those uh, second awakened high elementals for... Uh, for my stupid gimmick nonsense. Which are we on? Five? Yeah. I was very happy about that. So we see Manon Triana. So Manon Triana, Manon, and um, Molly. We see some more of these. I think I might have gone over those bases twice. More Manon Triana. More, what is her name? Hit her, his, whatever. Uh, Mimir, Mimir, Vigor, and Cichlid. See some more of these. I think we already clicked on this. Oh my goodness, I need to pay more attention to what we're doing. I'm trying to think of the things that I want to say, and also I'm trying to click and remember which, uh, which base we were on before. It, it shouldn't be this challenging. It really shouldn't. There's no excuse. So we have the speed lead and we have the Ashir. It's going to be very hard to outspeed that. 
and then is just gonna come in and uh, snipe something. I know we already saw like a billion of those bases, but weren't we on four? Yeah, we were on four. So many Chandras. So many Chandras. We already looked at that. And some Mimir and Cichlid and Vigors. Okay, let's go on to the next server. We'll go on to Europe. We're on Europe server now. I'm going to try to make this a little bit uh, quicker and smoother instead of pausing and talking about nothing for 25 minutes every time we see... Uh, okay. Uh, every time we see uh, defense. These ones, uh, these ones I've been seeing quite a lot of. So Theomars, Cichlid, and Pernas. Uh, come back from... Sorry. Come back from the dead and death prevention there. Uh, what are we on? We're on seven. Let's... Th oh, those are all gone. This is a different base. Same teams. It's just Gel Siege in a nutshell. These, I've been seeing a billion of these. Uh, I wasn't expecting those. Okay. That's usually not what you see in... Uh, yeah, I, I really was not expecting those. Usually you just take a uh, bulldozer to this. So let's see uh, a little bit more. Did we see? No, we did see this one. Okay, let's see. All right. I mean, I suppose if you keep stacking the... Okay, so here's the thing. If you keep stacking the defense, even if bulldozers are strong against it, if they keep... If they run out of bulldozers, like people don't have... Well, some people do have 10 bulldozers built, but a lot of people don't necessarily have just an infinite supply of uh, dozers. These, I expect to see a crap ton more of. I'm surprised we didn't see more of those. I'm just click on the same defense again. This is a different defense. Same teams, though. But I suppose they don't want to give out their um, their premium teams that they're saving for the end of Siege. They're, they're more premium teams uh, if they don't have to. If they can keep some secrets. So we have uh, strips, we have AoE defense break, and then we have some nukes. And also comes back from the dead and nukes some stuff after. That would be uh, the, <clears throat> the wind demon would be pretty solid there against these... Although, although, if you're taking turn one, you're already going to get something sniped. So. Already likely. I was uh, expecting a little bit more of uh, these fire snipers. Okay, we do see some more fire snipers here. This is so nasty. The dark battle angel. Let's take a look at uh, this. I'm a little surprised to see some of these. These, not so much. These we expect. Standard formula. Some more. So, so um, I was going to say some more Savannahs. One of the nice things about Savannah, you have to kill her twice. Perna, you have to kill twice. The Omar, I mean, you, don't have, you can just uh, oblivion them and then kill them once, but uh, things that prevent uh, death or revive themselves or dismount and then, you know, have to kill it again. Camille, what? Uh, okay. I think we already clicked on these. Yeah, we already clicked on these. All right, so let's see some of these other ones. We always see we always see these Hurtite defenses. They've always been uh, an oldie but goodie. Maybe not an oldie, but ever since he's been good. And these just these are everywhere now. We're round two. Standard. The drawback to this is they, they have plenty of damage, uh, but they don't have sustain. So if you can out-sustain this, then you should be in a good spot. Some death prevention, some revives, tanky bruisers. 
very, very fast team. I was running a team similar to this. He still has a lot of conditions to actually activate his ignore defense. He could be pretty nasty. Uh, Josephine would be good in uh, good here as well. But also, Celia can't strip everything. So, he doesn't... It, it doesn't matter if he strips anything because he's going to go through things like invincibility anyway. Um, but she can strip. It's easier in siege defense. I said I was going to do these faster, didn't I? It's easier in siege defense uh, for her to... You know, because there's less targets. But... And these potentially get nasty. Although this could trigger some things that... Uh, that increase attack age when they're attacked. Like, for example, a Jubel. Uh, we're around five, and nothing else is open. So I know sometimes in these videos, people are like, oh, you have to do it for the exact last only two uh, end guilds, which, you know, you are going to see a little bit more premium uh, defenses for the top two legend contender guilds. But not every... But that, that would also kind of get people thinking like you can only use these defense i want to give people a lot of different options regardless so not just see two different guilds and be like oh those are the, those are the ones i have to copy those defense like there's a lot of different things that can work especially if you stack and we always say this every time we look at these uh, especially if you stack multiple of the same defenses over and over and over again like the beauty of clara and vigor and x where x is in that like kinky uh, well, that's kind of harder to because you have to actually summon that. But uh, the beauty of a defense like that is you can just build so many of them. And you can just keep stacking them so your opponent is going to have a hard time countering so many of the same defense. So that's why you see so many dupes. So many dupes. What are we on? Tw oh, we don't even have that open. Oh, here we go. So we see the uh, the middle slot here is AoE strippers and debuffers. Stripper and debuffer. And not quite for those last two, but we have five. Oh, yeah, we got this one. I'm surprised we didn't see actually some more dark mad lines because he has the AoE defense break here. So... These ones can be kind of nasty. Well, actually, I haven't seen the uh, the Coronas with this team. That is new to me. So they can strip, right? Uh, if you if you take something like this, okay, okay well, I could just take a uh, Kaki into that, and then he's got element advantage over this. And then as long as I have immunity, I'm fine. Kaki's going to be able to deal with the Kinky uh, as long as he has high enough attack power uh, or take some other pure damage or just keep him stunned and do some bombs. But with this, they're going to uh, strip everything that you have on your team and sleep them. Potentially. We know it's going to work on defense, but it's never going to work on offense. So don't, don't, get that, uh, don't get that idea. So let's go to... We're here on the Asia server now. This is going to be the last one that we look at. Because the more we look at, we're just going to see a whole bunch of redundancies in the, uh, in the teams. Which we always see. That's just how Guild Siege works. Redundancy gets you wins. So using the same teams over and over and over and over and over again to the point where it's boring is the most effective strategy. Uh, it's, it's always been the most effective strategy. So these are such nasty, such nasty teams. Just because they take infinite, I'm kind of infinite turns. Yeah, these Theomars, Cichlid, and Pernas, I'm not as scared of, but... But the ninth time you have to fight them, or rather the tenth time you have to fight them, uh, it does get a bit nasty. So I do like the Rakans on defense, though. I would like to hit some of these teams just to just to see how they perform, because like I, I don't get to I don't get to hit some of these teams. I hit like a million of the things that look like this, and then I'm like, okay, I have to hit another one of these. I have to hit the fifth and the sixth and the seventh and the eighth. So, maybe, okay, that's an exaggeration. I probably hit, like, five of them in a siege. Five of the same teams. But that's why I'm trying to build more dupes of some of the more some of the more effective uh, things currently. Built some extra Elusias and Susanos. And what else? I don't know what else. <laughs> build dupes of everything. All right. One of the uh, one of the things that this is weak against is there's no sustain here, so 
um, there is, you know, you're going to kill this and then this is going to get stacked more. But if you can just bruise it out, give yourselves, uh, give yourselves, <laughs> give yourselves a lot of immunity, then that could be okay. This one as well, there's not, that, I mean, there's, there's fast damage, but there's not a whole lot of sustain. So if you can out sustain some of these, then that's, that's a, an effective way to, uh, to approach it. Theomars, Cichlid, and Pernas. Some more twins. Some more of these Monties. Very frustrating Monties. Some more... Th okay. I don't think I've seen that before. But that before. We have four. Uh, let's see. Eleven. Oh, we got some... We got some dots. That's going to be so many debuffs, though. So, Water Mermaid would be great into here. They do have, uh, they do only have one strip. So, if this doesn't actually land the strip. Also, uh, Water Art Master. If you have immunity, you have the Water Art Master. Going to glance everything up. And then, you do have infinite kind of strips. But, something like Varad. Varad and a Water Art Master could be good here. Tetra could be good here. So, and you're thinking uh, Juno, but... Also, you don't know how many times it's going to violent proc and violent proc and violent proc. So, uh, where are we on? 11? But you don't know how many times everything is going to violent proc. Just eternity. Just the maximum amount of violent proc since it's defense. Or at least it feels that way. Alright, so Tian Lang. Tian Langs are nasty, de nasty defenses. They're easier if you're expecting. If you see the Tian Lang, like, oh, okay, I have to fight against the Tian Lang today. In, uh, in RTA, different story, because they can just pull out the Tion Lang at the very end. It's like, crap, I don't have any attack gauge increase now. Okay. But you can still attack gauge decrease uh, them. So, things like Triton, theoretically, could be very beneficial. Triton, Shungpung, Savannah. Now we're on six. Let's see. Oh, it's always nice to see Shazam. I don't think I've I don't think I've had a really great Shazam defense comp. Like similar stuff to that, but it's not like really high win rates because it's it's fairly easy to uh, counter it unless you have to fight it a thousand times. So around this third one, let's see what they have. Okay, some cichlids, some pernas. Perna has always been, for as long as I can remember, Perna has been a solid siege defense unit. Okay, I kind of actually expected to see a little bit more of these. Those or uh, Jubel too. Some more Chandras. I don't think I've had... I mean, again, they're stacking it so many times. That it's more effective. I don't think I've had any like really strong Chandra defenses though. But most defenses are going to be beaten most of the time. So really it's about stacking the same thing over and over and over again. So that your opponents can't even hit you. Uh, so we're seeing strips and the defense breaks and the big uh, damage. Element neutral damage. But also kind of having them underestimate. This is a... Uh, Probably not a very strong defense right there. Yeah, Ladriel's okay. I, I I don't feel like a Ladriel in this day and age is a solid solid enough choice. I think I already clicked on that, didn't I? Yeah, I see some more of these. But I just I can't remember the last time I've struggled with an Eladriel defense. There's just so many good counters to it nowadays that Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm surprised we didn't see more of these. Of the uh, Clara Savannah and then the Hollyberry or Manan. And some more of the Clara Monty Ashir, Clara Monty Kinky. I, I, I don't think I really hit that many of those. Those uh, Samoth. Not, not Samoth. Theom Samoth. Theomars, Perna, and uh, Cichlid defenses. 
see some more of these. Haven't seen any Jubels. I guess people are just uh, way too conditioned to hitting that easily now. Some more Theomar, some more Death Prevention, Death Prevention, and Revives. What else do we have that's actually open? Yeah, Damage Mitigation, Death Prevention. Uh, these are uh, Revives. Damage Mitigation, Death Prevention. But it's, it's consistent themes. It's less about the specific unit, and it's more about making sure that you fill the slot with whatever is uh necessary like whatever the best option is so if you're going to take turn one you strip you defense break and then you have some kind of element neutral damage dealer who's going to pick a random target and kill something right if you're taking turn two you want to either revive prevent death or mitigate the damage that would potentially cause you to die that's why molly that's why manan that's why triana that's why nana and perna and theomars and savannah or uh um beast riders in general so just the just the standard oh i think we looked at everything just the the standard lineup anyway that's enough talking i know i talk too much i said i was gonna not talk so much anyway that's it for this one hope you guys maybe got something out of it food for thought so you can build your own defenses and you know what to look for that's it for this one see you as always in the next one